The curtain has come down on day one of the 73rd edition of the Uganda Open Golf Championship. Now it's been an eventful day here at Uganda Golf Club's Pass 72 Kitante Court. We had a rain delay and when the sun came back, it shined on a surprise joint leader on a day when underpass calls were few and far between. Derek Ntege watched the action and now reports. Toro Golf Club's status as Uganda's breeding ground for talent grew that bit more when it delivered the joint leaders of the Uganda Golf Open Championship this evening. While Adolf Muhumza needs no introduction to golf fans, Joseph Chinuai, who struck a one under par 71 to share the lead with his more illustrious Toro Golf Club member, is unknown to many. Both Muhumza and Chinuai will carry an identical two-shot lead into tomorrow's round two at the par 72 Chitante course. Chinyuai says he intends to prove that his sterling performance on day one was no fluke. I can be among the top four because my achievement this year was playing in the pressure group of the 73rd edition of the Uganda Open. Ronald Otide, the defending champion, is three strokes off the pace after a topsy-turvy round saw him take a two over past 74 to the clubhouse. Otile has not given up on his chances of mounting a successful title defense. I promise to defend it because I know I can and it's possible for me as long as I put my head down and improve on, on the problems that I'm having with, uh, on the course and improve maybe on my parting and driving. Kenya's Alfred Nundua also struck 74 to make it to the top five leaderboard. Ahead of Otile and Nundua in third position is Samuel Kato who is a decent one over par. 73. Dirk Ntege, NTV Sport. So all eyes will be on Joseph Chunyaai and Adolf Muhumuza when round two tees off here at the Uganda Golf Club tomorrow. The 64 other golfers in action will not only have a crack at the joint leaders, but also the Chevrolet car that's on offer for any of the golfers that hits a hole in one. Until then, it's goodbye from us here at Kitante.